All new at 5.30, two cops in Newark suspended tonight for not confronting the young man you see stomping on the squad car. He stomped on it for several minutes. The police department says the officer should have stopped that man, but this video shows the other side of the story. Did the police stay seated to defuse what could have otherwise become a nasty confrontation? And now one big controversy over this whole thing. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates has the story. She's live in Newark for us. Tony. And Bill, Sandra, you know, there had to be about seven or eight people out here with their cell phones recording what was going on. One man told us they were doing that to make sure that police didn't go overboard in handling the situation. Well, that guy says he was happy about how it ended. Police brass, however, was not. This was Saturday, August 4th, near Lyons Avenue in Clinton Place in Newark. Several people with cell phones were recording 18-year-old Altariq Alston jumping on the hood and roof of a Newark police cruiser. Whatever his problem was or his case is, I don't know. This is Habib Bea's video. He was driving by and decided to record, thinking... Was that the police were either going to kill him or they were going to beat him. And so I sat and observed and videotaping to kind of protect him. <laughs> Then a backup officer arrives as Austin waits on top of the first car. He eventually jumps on other cruisers. After several minutes, though, he runs away. The officers got praise on the streets. The police showed such professionalism in restraint and patience in dealing with him. But not from police brass, who reviewed the video, which went viral on social media. They also reviewed police body cam video and decided to suspend the officers. Public Safety Director Anthony Ambrose saying, in part, through a statement, these officers instead took no action at all to quell the situation and to aid and subdue the suspect as they are trained to do. This lack of action could have resulted in the suspect injuring himself as well as other persons or property. What caused Austin to act out in the first place? A neighbor who didn't want to be identified says Austin was angry with that first officer. The guy was just sitting there listening to his music and dancing. The officer started harassing him. So he was like, I'm not doing anything. He said, I will lock you up if you don't move. As for the suspensions. If they're suspended because of they didn't do anything, then someone really needs to look into it. Now that first officer has been on the force for seven months. The second officer, the responding officer, has been on the force for 10 years. Their names have not been released because this is still under investigation. And also, Alston was eventually arrested, charged with three counts of criminal mischief.